I think it's absolutely beautiful. How many of you think it's a good idea? Oh, look at this. Why do, why do people do this? I wish this damn coronavirus stuff would just get over with so I can just make some videos about motorcycling. All right guys, today I'm gonna give you guys a little history about the Cave River Campground and some of the things that I found most interesting. History, come on. In the 1800s and the early 1900s, the railroad actually used to run across the property here at the Cave River Campground and it really paints some neat history tied to the camp. You look down here and you look all the way down there and you can see that the railroad built up pretty good. Now, you can see how high we are off the river on one side and then if you go down the other side, that's all of our ATV trail system which you can follow for miles and miles of 4x4 fun. That railroad bed is right up there and that's basically where the tracks ran and the wood ran for the span of the railroad. It, it ran all across this country, but I know this section here was basically the section between Dallas and Tulsa. Uh, and I think there was a fork that went off to Oklahoma City too. But this is probably one of the most interesting parts of the camp. You see that? And it's, it's really flat across the top. And well, you can see one of the rocks is down there. And if the water was a little bit lower, you'd see that there's huge rocks the size of my side by side thrown down into the, oh, look at this. Why do, why do people do this? I mean, come on. Anyhow, huge rocks thrown down in the river way down there. They actually built this structure and put those rocks in to pump water out of the river back in the steam engine days. That's right, those big rocks in the river were to help fight the erosion. And this here was their pump platform where they brought the water up and put it on the train. I'm gonna tell you later in this video why it's so interesting that this train stopped on this property and how it ties into more than one thing we're doing here at the K River Campground. Check that out. This is actually the old train bridge that came across this Patterson's Creek, which cuts down through part of our property. Now, while there's absolutely no date on these, I can only imagine how absolutely old. It's really part of what I consider to be the neatest piece of history on this southeast Oklahoma land. So my idea was get up there and actually re reinforce these structures, put a couple railroad tracks up there and make a cabin out of a caboose, clear the woods. And this would be the view from that cabin looking down the creek. I think it's absolutely beautiful. How many of you think it's a good idea to put a caboose cabin on the old antique railroad, if you will? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, if you have not yet, please click that subscribe button. And if you've already subscribed, that bell for notifications will let you know when we upload tomorrow's video. As the story goes, the railroad not only carried cargo and passengers, but it also carried prisoners. That's right, they'd pick up prisoners from the Antlers uh, Jail and several others along the way and transport them up and down to the bigger facilities. In fact, one of the main hubs of Antlers is the fact that it used to be a railroad station. Now with the railroad gone, it's just an old museum kind of relic sitting there, but it used to be a major piece of why Antlers became a city to start with. In case you all don't know, Antlers is our neighbor city. It's the biggest city near us. It's got a couple thousand residents. When we built this entrance, and I don't know, the videos don't really do it justice. We built this out of two big cedar trees that were down by the river. Let me, uh, let me kind of give you a perspective at just how big these are. This is a big edge and it's all out of two trees. That is a lot of cedar. And those were two massive trees. And I can only imagine how old they must have been. So when we took these trees down and drug them up here, we found something very interesting. Buried into the wood of the tree were these old handcuffs. I don't know how old they are. I found some stamping on them. It was a number 164 stamped into them, but they were actually grown into the tree. And that makes you wonder, how did they get there? Was it a prisoner that escaped? But they're both locked. So what did he do? Cut his hand off and get away escaping down the river? Or was there something completely inhumane done and he was actually cuffed to the tree, left to die, or maybe for the coyotes to get him? I'll never know the story. 
of where these handcuffs came from or how they ended up grown into the side of that tree from years and years ago. But they are something I cherish. Sometimes I like to just imagine what the story might be. This really brings us to the last piece of history on this property that relates to the railroad. Now while the original homestead has since fallen and been taken down, just was completely rotted out, although we did save some of the tin off of the roof, we used it to line the inside of the walls of our treehouse down on the river. This was what they called their general store, and general store being, yeah, okay, it's a general store to the front, but really it was code for Moonshine Cabin. <laughs> Going on around here. That's right, back when the railroad used to stop here, they used to load moonshine onto the train while it was pumping out water and ship that moonshine up to Oklahoma City, Tulsa, and down to Dallas. This is an original piece of history. This is a true antique. And I just always have loved antiques. I've loved collecting them. And this one, this one's got a special place in my heart. So if you all have been watching my videos on YouTube, you may have already seen the video linked right up here, which is about our uh, whiskey coffee we're making here at the K River Campground. That, my friends, is a lot of coffee. And will it indeed fill that barrel? My calculations are correct. It's an experiment. If you're not watching on YouTube, you're watching on Facebook, well, technically you're a day behind, which means there's a whole nother video for you waiting if you go over to my YouTube channel right now. But back to the whiskey cough, I wanted to find somebody that distilled whiskey right around this area of Oklahoma. Well, because they were distilling it back in the day illegally. Now, it's perfectly legal. But I wanted to keep that local flavor when we did the River whiskey coffee, if you will. So we found Hochatown Distilleries. They gave us one of their empty whiskey barrels. We are gonna be aging those whiskey barrels with the coffee in them right inside the old Moonshiner's cabin just to give it that authentic feel of history. I'm pretty excited about it. It, it really does get me excited and I hope y'all think it's kind of a cool story too. That's the reason for the whiskey coffee right here out of the River and uh, how it kind of ties in with the history of this old building. So that, my friends, is just a little history on the Kariver and some of the antiques or artifacts. I don't know really what you'd call them. Some of the uh, things we have here that uh, tie back to that history, which I find personally very interesting. I hope you all enjoyed it and found it interesting as well. And remember, we're doing five videos a week, every week on this channel. Some of it will be about my campground, the K River Campground, located right here in the mountains of Southeast Oklahoma, Moyers, Oklahoma, if you will. Some of it is going to be on side-by-sides and off-road. Some of it is gonna be your great American V-Twin riding, and yet other things are the newest addition to our channel, which is that dual sport off-road adventure motorcycling. We're just trying to keep it fresh, and we're trying to keep it interesting. I hope you all enjoy sharing in my passions with me. It's an honor to have you here. And of course, no matter what we're doing, it always ties back to our veterans here in America. I find it so important to support those who have supported us. In fact, I coined a term, and that is, if you did not serve in your military, find time to serve those who did. And right here at the K River Campground, we offer free veteran camping, cabins, and RV spots for all of our American veterans. Thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see y'all in tomorrow's video.